Hey guys, welcome to Fur Tutorials. So guys, today I create really cool and abstract shape modeling design in Cinema 4D. So firstly guys, I take simple cube and now I go to display, select God shading lines. Yes, guys, increase size. Go on object and size. All size take 300, 300 and 300. And increase segment also take 3. 3 and 3 yeah right okay now guys make editable this cube select this cube and click on here this make editable right and after that guys I select polygon and I go to select take select all right and after that right click and I take extrude and guys maximum angle change I take 89 and offset I take 100 centimeter and enter right create shape like this okay so guys this is already select you can delete press delete key delete yes that's it it's so easy guys right create shape like this okay so now guys select cube and this time I select point and again go to select select all and right click take optimize this one yes that's it guys okay so guys see that's my first shape and now I create second shape so one more time I take cube and same size take 300 300 300 and 300 and actually guys you can increase y size increase like randomly like 80 actually 800 yes and go to up yeah so guys go to position and y position i take 650 centimeter right and now guys i increase segments this cube segments so segments take like three and y segments randomly like 20 decrease 80 yeah actually I take 20 and Z I take 3 yes right that's my cube and guys same select this cube and make editable click on here yes and select this polygon and use live selection tool and guys select upper points actually faces and press delete key Go to last one, select and press delete, right? Okay, so now guys same, select this cube and I go to select and actually select polygon, select all and right click, optimize this one. Yes, that's it guys. Okay, so now guys this time I create rotation band so i take this time band tool select this band and connect with this cube select this band and fit to parent check yes and i increase strength strength like this like strength i take 270 yes right okay but guys that's not correct it's not fixed so go to front view panel front view select this band tool and little bit change position like position this is position and x take minus 70 yes that's it guys see now this is fixed right okay so guys this time I create rotation animation so this time take twist tool twist select this twist and same connect with Q yes and fit to parent check yeah and angle change angle I take 180 degree yes 180 yeah right see guys that's so easy okay now 
guys i take null object and select this one cube this cube and make child be null yes select this null object and copy the simple is control c and control v yeah and rotate rotate like this rotation p rotation take 90 and one more time rotate and this time 180 degree yeah see guys right okay now one more time guys copy this cube press ctrl c and v and rotate like this rotate minus 90 degree and like p minus 90 yes see guys that's my simple shape right guys this is so easy tutorial for modeling okay so now go on back and one more time I take null object and select all and make child with null object. Yes. Okay. So guys select this null object and right click select children and one more time right click this time connect object plus delete. Yes. See guys that's my simple shape and now I take optimize. So select this null object this shape and I take this time points and take select all and the shortcut command is press ctrl a that's select all and right click and take optimize but guys this time select this optimize setting click on here gear icon and select all option polygon and points unused point and tolerance i take 10 centimeter 10 and press ok yes that's it guys yeah right and now guys my first step is complete that's it so this time i take polygon and i go to select use loop selection and select this part midpoint and select this midpoint guys holding shift key holding shift key select and go to back yes right select only midpoint mid faces and again i go to select and use invert this one yes and press delete key yeah see guys that's my simple inner part outer right but guys you can fix this corner points this one corner edges so i select edges select and little bit change like this and rotate up select this part yes simple select this part create curve right okay go to here create shape and select right okay right it's, it's take little bit too much time yes and this is also yes right see guys okay now all is good 
guys i create smoothness so i take subdivision surface and select this null object and connect with subdivision surface and select subdivision and guys subdivision render i take two and subdivision editor same two all position same two and two and now i create thickness so guys use cloth surface this time cloth surface select this subdivision surface and connect with cloth surface Yes, close surface and subdivision I take 0, thickness decrease, thickness I take minus like 70 centimeter, minus 70, yes, right, that's my shape, right guys, that's really cool, okay, now guys, I use bevel tool so I take null object and select this close surface and connect with null object and this time last one guys I take bevel and select this bevel and go on down yes see guys that's my bevel select this bevel and go to here change mode I take like polygon yes great see guys that's really cool shape and guys you can change more type of shape I show you so guys uncheck preserve group and extension I take minus 5 yes guys you can increase offset this is offset like randomly 10 actually take 5 5 yeah 5 is much better see guys that's my shape right see okay so now guys my abstract shape is complete it's looking great now I apply material so I go to create and load material select and open apply yellow on null object yes that's really cool and shining and use light merge select cpod studio light and go to down yes but guys this is too much bigger so decrease size select this null object and i go to chord size i take 0 0.3 0 0.3 and 0 0.3 and this time select flow go to front view panel gone down yes right and select this over at saw box go to in mid that's it and take camera angle like this yes okay go to render setting guys ambient occlusion and use global illumination anti select best that's it guys so close and render and press ok right so guys that's my simple app check shape modeling is complete so if you like my video please share and subscribe my youtube channel and guys you can download this project by from my website is free thank you